What's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at this. This is the Sleeping Beauty Castle and Walt Disney Funko Pop. Check it out. What's up everybody and welcome back to Pop Empire. Happy to see you and like I said, we're gonna take a closer look at this. And of course this is the Sleeping Beauty Castle and Walt Disney from Funko Pop. Uh, it actually says Pop Town. And this is for Disneyland's 65th anniversary. Uh, we don't do a ton of Funko Pops on this channel. However, we do collect some. Uh, these are some of the ones that we've gotten recently. Also have this guy here, and this is the Mad Hatter also to commemorate Disneyland's 65th anniversary. This was a Target exclusive. Uh, this one actually says Pop Rides. Uh, pretty cool. I definitely want to get some more of these Disneyland ones. Uh, just really appreciate these, and I like these boxes with that vintage feel. Also got this one, Aaron Donald, Los Angeles Rams. Awesome. And then this one is super cool. Actually, our sister got us both one of these. Uh, it was a limited edition Gabriel Iglesias, you know, the comedian, Fluffy. This is Funko Pop. Uh, and it's actually signed by him, so that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. And then it also has that uh, Gabriel Iglesias hologram there on it. Yeah, this one's awesome. So yeah, those are just some of the other ones that we've recently acquired. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy. And as we get a closer look at the box, I just really want to point out the detail. I think it looks great. It looks really retro. I like how the color, it isn't like perfectly white. It's kind of like an off-white and it just gives it a really cool look. Uh, you have the Disneyland uh, logo down here with 65th anniversary. And then up here just tells you what you're getting. Of course, here is the Sleeping Beauty Castle and we have our Walt over there, which we will get more into here momentarily. There's also this exclusive sticker over here on the side. And then just checking out this side of the box, I just wanted to point out that there's this little image of Tinkerbell. And then as we take a look at the back, uh, I think they really did a great job with the design. Very reminiscent of the Disneyland map that you would get uh, when you go into Disneyland. And it would just show all the different lands uh, around, of course, the castle being in the center. So that's really cool. And then as we take a closer look at this side, there's also this vintage looking image of the castle down here. But let's go ahead and get this thing open and uh, get a closer look. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. I've already uh, taken it out and taken a look. Uh, but I did want to point out, this is a somewhat limited edition Funko Pop. I don't know if it's like specifically limited edition. I don't know, I never saw anything that actually just said limited edition. However, uh, it is pretty hard to find. It was initially available on shopdisney.com, has since sold out and it's not even on the website anywhere. It was on there for a while that actually just said sold out. You can still find it on Amazon. However, I did see it for, I believe like $170 right now. I believe the original price was like right around 30 bucks or something like that, but yeah, 170, that's crazy. So if you can find one, I'd say for at least under $100, you're doing something good there and I'd go ahead and pick it up. There is another version with the castle that comes with a Mickey Mouse. That one is also pretty cool. And you can still find that one on Amazon for, I believe like 25 bucks. So maybe go check that out. Actually, maybe 29 something, but either way, still really cool. You get the castle, unfortunately you don't get the Walt, but you know, Keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I do want to point out what I think is what makes this set uh, more exclusive is because you get that Walt Pop figure. As with the other one, you just get Mickey, which everybody loves Mickey, but uh, this is the only way to get a Walt Pop is with this castle. And it's just a really cool set. So uh, I think that's just why they're so popular. This is a really cool set, but eh, let's go ahead and take a closer look. And here is the Walt Disney that comes in this set. And this guy's absolutely fantastic. And we don't really collect a lot of Funko Pops, just mainly the ones that we like. And this one has quickly gone to the front of the list. This is definitely my favorite one in my collection. I really love this. I love the fact that he's holding the little Mickey Mouse, which is very reminiscent of, you know, the original Mickey Mouse stuffed animal that Walt had. And actually to kind of show you uh, what it's supposed to be modeled after, Disney did release a couple years ago these limited edition plush of course, Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. Again, supposed to be reminiscent of the original versions of Mickey and Minnie, the stuffed versions. There's a top there, limited edition collectible plush dolls. And there's kind of a picture there on the back with Walt and with all those different plushes. But yeah, this thing's awesome. I was lucky enough to pick up one of these for an insanely good price. We'll go into that in another video. I think we're actually gonna make a specific video just for these uh, to kind of get into the history a little bit and things like that. But so yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, that's what that Mickey Mouse that he's holding is uh, supposed to be reminiscent of and really awesome touch, so. I always really appreciated how Funko was able to get such a spot on likeness of whoever they're making a figure of. Uh, even with such little detail in the face, they're able to just really knock it out of the park. And yeah, love this guy. But yeah, let's go take a look at that castle. And just getting a closer look at the castle, 
Uh, I do want to say, as somebody that uh, regularly goes to Disneyland, I think that they knocked this out of the park. Uh, just all the little detail, uh, the color, uh, the paint application, I think looks great on it. And uh, yeah, just overall, I think it's a great piece. And just getting a little uh, bit of a closer look, uh, just to kind of point out some of the detail, uh, like in the roof and in the spires, and then the gold over here on the side and on the flags, I think looks wonderful. And I want to point out here on the window and on the other windows on this uh, part of the castle, uh, almost like these cross designs that they got in there, which I think is great. It gives it that stained glass look. And then just showing this side of the castle, of course, this is all just one piece. Normally though, this would be open and you can walk through here. Uh, we also have a door over here where uh, you could walk into the castle, which in real life, you can walk into the castle and it just tells the story of Sleeping Beauty. So it's really fantastic. And for those of you that didn't know, and I'm assuming there's actually quite a few of you that do know this little tidbit of history about Sleeping Beauty's castle, but uh, it's actually backwards. Yeah, so actually when they were in the planning stages of building Disneyland, they had a model of the park and Walt one day came in, saw the castle, picked it up, turned it around, and actually liked the way that it looked better. So yeah, he actually put it back down like that and that's uh, what we have today. So if you're going into Disneyland, you're walking down Main Street, you see Sleeping Beauty's castle, just remember the castle's backwards. Uh, so if you go on through it, you can walk right through the middle and uh, go into Fantasyland, see the other side of the castle and that was the original actual front of the castle. So just an interesting little uh, uh, tidbit of uh, Disneyland history that some of you would like to hear that I know a lot of you have uh, heard that before but yeah for those of you who didn't know that remember that remember that a little bit of trivia trick your friends <laughs> watch a video that YouTube suggests for you click that video to the left watch our last video it's gonna be that one to the right we'd also love it if you would subscribe and to do that click the link up above our heads that'd be awesome see you in the next video peace everybody see ya